Greetings everyone, Xanrath here. Welcome back to more Hearthstone, some more solo adventures in Ice Crown. Uh, continuing to take on the Lich King, you know, beating him with all the classes, that whole shindig, um, to unlock this sick new Paladin Hero portrait, Prince Arthas. Um, so yeah, I basically kind of realized this is, this is the, this expansion's equivalent of class challenges, right? Um, previously you had them like in a separate tab or whatever, but this is basically it, yeah, just kind of built into the main quest, whatever, adventures area. With this whole, like, filling up the runes thing or whatever. Um, yeah, right? So, uh, we beat, beat him with um, Priest last time in the main playthrough. We're just going to go down the list. Uh, Jirota's up next, so here we go. Enjoy your meta. Um, basically, it's just, like, Jade Druid with some, like, techish cards uh, put in there for this encounter, right? Because you're going to try to, like, um, clear his 2-6 uh, two, two, whatever things on Frostmourne turn 7. So, we got a spreading plague. I think I'm going to go ahead and keep that. Um, ideally, we get at least like one ramp. And then we get a spreading plague into whatever that thing is called. The turtle dude. The guy with the shield that looks like a turtle shell. Uh, that buffs your taunts. So, yeah, that's what we're going for. Um, turn one, he's got the uh, Purge of the Week. That's his druid specific um, one mana card. And uh, it's destroying all my minions that are three or less in mana cost, wherever they are. So, you know, he seems to be okay with a uh, with a um, Jade meta, right? With the whole revitalization of Jade Druid. But he's not a fan of the Flappy Bird. So, <laughs> yeah. So, anyways, uh, turn three, you get to skip that, so that's cool. Oh, never mind. Uh, throw that out there. Skip turn two. Almost skip turn three. We top deck something, so that's cool. Uh, my mom did. <laughs> I understand what that line is for, but okay. There's no, like... Uh, I was hoping he would trade with one of these dudes, because I can swipe it, but... Whatevas. Um, let's go ahead and just throw out the... Chen Gang, I guess. Try to stave off some damage. Water Ellie. Uh, not great. Um, oh, that's nice. He's just, he's just gonna obliterate that, but that's nice. Uh, let's see. I guess I'll throw this out. And I'll uh, go ahead and toss in a uh, hero power. Hoping to save this swipe for maybe when he gets some more minions on the board, get some more value. Um, that might get Black Knighted. I think it will. Um, well, I guess I couldn't... Not the cleanest of... Well, I could swipe that clear, have him leave him with a 1-2, 6 mana. Um, still throw out a Jade Blossom. Could also Wrath. Wrath, Wrath for 3... On this, maybe swipe that. Hit, hit. Might be worth it. But then what do I have next turn? I'll, if I just Black Knight this, hit there. Uh, maybe I'll just Black Knight. Put a little bit of pressure on him, I guess. Um, I don't think he has a way to deal just one damage, so I just do that to keep this guy healthy. In case he blizzards. That's... Fine. Oh, it's gonna obliterate a black knight. That's okay. Um. Oh, interesting. So I guess I'll go ahead and just swipe. Maybe I'll wrath first. Try to see if I can draw something interesting. Cause I do need. I do have the spreading plague, but I do need that turtle guy. Right. So we're not gonna draw into him, but you know, it's always nice to. To believe. Um, let's do that. So one obliterate is down. Frostmorn hungers. Did you want anything? Uh, maybe some fries, I suppose. But yeah, so we'll go ahead and toss out the horror to get um, what do you call it? Obliterated second one. Mm. 
could go with these two chums. Hmm. Just buy some time, I suppose. guess. Not the most satisfying, but there's that. And a bunch of hits. Okay. Huh. He actually didn't play anything. It's interesting. Um. I really wish I had that turtle, dude. Guess I'll just throw this out. Meh. Not the best, but at least he, uh, he can still clear stuff. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, not the best, but I kind of have to do it. I think at least. Although I didn't realize it before, but yeah, it doesn't look like he uh he plays anything when you uh when he's got the Shadow Morn equipped. It's really interesting. Let's go ahead and throw this out there. Um, I can't really play another one of these so the Jade won't come out. I guess we do this. Really wish I had the uh, buff dude, but whatever. Okay. Norish. Um. Hmm. I guess I'll just go ahead and nourish for cards. Wild growth. Uh, I guess I could throw out a Belcher. So after I trigger this phase, the clock starts ticking, right? Um, I guess I could, like, Belcher, Innervate, Innervate, Jade Spirit. Um, so we'll do this. I don't think he had, did he have anything prior to Frostmourne? Nope, doesn't look like it. So we'll go ahead and throw this out. And yeah, let's go ahead and try to get some uh some minions on board. Uh if he clears something, I guess we can throw out the obsidian. Oh, there's a blizzard, that's cool. Uh boy. Oh, and a card is drawn. That's nice. He's gonna freeze me. Cool. Um Swipe here. Could a blue uh, statue. Let's go ahead and. S uh, okay, let's swipe then. We'll just, I kind of want to shuffle this because I only have one. So I kind of want to get some more. Go ahead and toss out that. And there's a Jade Idol. So we'll go ahead and do this. Guess we'll go ahead and summon a Jade. Okay. I do have one Savage Vortex in there, so... Ah! So there's the bait. That's the second one, right? Because he did the other one. Did he do? I can't remember if he did or not. I think he did. Ah, another one. Nice. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm pretty sure I have baited out two. I don't know how many he runs, but... Either way, I guess if he... Seven or eight damage if he does another Obliterate. Ugh, bone mare. And some armor. Mmm. So that's gonna not quite clear that actually. So I'm gonna get eight health off of this, so that's kinda nice. Oh no, he's gonna go for the uh the doodad there. Okay, interesting. Interesting. Well, there's a spreading plague. Uh second one actually. I don't I still don't have the turtle dude. So we're gonna do this. I think we just push face. I think we just, I think we just faces the place, right? So is that dialogue trigger when he goes under 10 health? 
maybe. None. Black Knight. He's gonna go on that guy. Okay. And oh. how convenient. Sick. All right, we did it. We did it, boys. Didn't even get the combo. Oh well, there's the other piece of it. Let's just do this for the lols. We got this. Um. So we go four. Uh, clear that. Guess we clear these guys. And then smack them. Yeah. Oh, then there's the whole, like, uh, Death Knight. You are the new Frost. Or, not Frost, uh, Lich King. All right, let's see a little see the little backstory there. Once he uh, nurtured life by tending the wilds of Azeroth, now Mephirian the Pestilent ensures the balance of nature by tending a garden of death. Oh, how fitting! All the little spiders and Rubian dudes. All right, let's uh, let's take a gander. Up oh, next rune's filling in. Boom. All right. Let's, uh, oh, that kind of shifted the order around about things, huh? It probably just shifted everything up one. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at the deck. It's kind of hit and miss, I think. Obviously, you want to draw well. I didn't draw well, too, eh, somewhat well. Um, so, you know, a couple iterations of this deck. Um, it's been refined a little bit, a couple tries before this, but... Mostly kind of going with like mid range ish. Like obviously, you know, with the whole um, Purge the Week or whatever it's called, uh, you can't play any minions that are uh, three or less mana. So if you had two Jade Idols, you know, I think that'd be good. Although, you know, I didn't include the second Jade Idol in here because, you know, it is a really good card. You know, some might even say it's like, you know, overpowered or perhaps like, you know, something along those lines. So, you know, it's, it's almost equivalent to like a legendary, right? So I don't want to like get banned for exploiting by uh, including two in my deck. Um, but anyways, yeah, Jade Idol, I think it's pretty decent. Um, obviously the whole Jade mechanic, trying to get big, uh, Jades out. No Aya, cause, you know, um, not that great of a card, right? Uh, Don Honcho is the best waifu of, um, Mean Streets of Gajazan. But, no, anyways, uh, realistically, basically just, just, like, a lot of, it's mostly just a couple Jades, right, to try to fight for the board, get some stuff on, uh, you know, summon multiple things at once. Um, Taunts, you know, the whole, um... Dealing with his little Tortured Spirit guys, uh, ideally you would get, like, Spreading Plague plus, uh, what's it called, Strong Shield Scavenger, right? So if you get at least one ramp, I think that's all you need, because he Frostmourns on turn 7, so your following turn after that is turn 8. So as long as you have ramped once, right, while well, Growth, J uh, Blossom, Nourish, I guess even, uh, you can pull off the Spreading Plague plus um, Strong Shell Scavenger, so you get the 3-7 Taunts. Which is really nice, um, and that really kind of helps you deal with that board uh, a lot more effectively, and then leaves you with a relatively strong board afterwards too, right? Because basically, over the course of two turns, you get to clear all of his stuff, uh, and your things are relatively healthy, right? Um, I guess some of them will be like three fives, and some of them will be like three fours, just given how the trading works. Um, otherwise, yeah, a lot of taunts try to capitalize on, because uh, you know he had no early game. Really, other than, I guess, like, Wraths and, like, Swipes to help clear your board. Try to prevent him from getting a big, like, Frostmourne post-destruction uh, of the Spirits, or Souls, or whatever they're called. So, you know, obviously, if you can uh, clear the board before that happens, that's the best. So, I think some of these taunts are kind of helpful in terms of doing that. Uh, you know, because obviously, you have to start at four in terms of your minions. So, it's a little bit tougher to necessarily guarantee a clean board, but sometimes it happens. Um, I thought about, uh, my first iteration of this deck, I teched in, like, poison seeds for the, um, the guys, the whatever thingies, the spirits. Um, and then I'm not sure how this would work, but technically, you know, he'll Frostmourne guaranteed on 7, regardless of what happens. So he clears his whole board, uh, and then they are resummoned when he gets, when he gets triggered out of the phase by destroying all of his little spirit guys. So, which... Poison Seeds does, replacing it with 2-2s, obviously, but 
I didn't get to see it in action because I never got to pull it off. But um, I'm curious if like if that happens, he's only going to get one minion back, so it doesn't really matter if you clear the board or not prior to that. But then it still leaves him with um, six two twos, and then one thing that gets resummoned or whatever, even after you phase him. So it didn't seem that strong, and so like I kind of just decided to go with you know this was kind of my win condition was the spreading plague into strong uh, shell scavenger, which it didn't even happen. So I'm kind of happy to that this deck works in that sense uh, that you technically don't need to pull off that combo in order to to still kind of win. Obviously, the Jade's kind of carried. Um, Savage Roar was just kind of teched in there because I was having trouble finishing him off in the previous uh, runs. Uh, and so you kind of... I always had, like, a relatively big board, but just not, like... They're not just, like, super strong and, you know, like... He still is constantly playing minions and, like, killing your taunts and stuff like that. So I just kind of put in a Savage Roar just to... Have a little extra insurance, so, like, you know, I have a big board, but I have to be able to, like, burst him down, so I just kind of help with that. Um, although, I did get kind of lucky with the, the Jades, right? Shuffling and then drawing two of them, I think, relatively soon, and getting some big Jades out. So, yeah. Um, obviously, if you had better and more Jade mechanics, uh, that would be pretty good, too. Um, so, yeah. That's kind of uh, how this worked out. Um now that I th think about it, now that I kind of uh, saw a couple turns, um, he doesn't seem to play anything. I'm not sure why. He didn't play any, like, minions or anything like that. It might be because he, like, doesn't want to fill up his board entirely. Um, but yeah, he didn't play any cards while he was in that um, phase of uh, Frostmourne phase, right? So obviously having some taunts to try to, like buy time in that phase if you need to like you could i guess potentially kind of stall a little bit in that phase if needed but he's like you know doing so much damage in terms of free five damage every every turn with his frostborn and swings and stuff like that i don't know if that will play into strategy yet maybe at some point but anyways that's it for um druid so uh next was hunter or something like that so i don't know anyways until next time thanks for watching bye